אנחנו הולמים באויבינו בעוצמה חסרת תקדים. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel was, quote, striking at our enemies with unprecedented might on Friday and emphasized that, quote, this is just the beginning. Israeli infantry made their first raids into the Gaza Strip Friday and vowed to annihilate Hamas after its fighters stormed through towns and villages in southern Israel last week, killing 1,300 Israelis, mainly civilians, and making off with scores of hostages. Netanyahu added, our enemies have only begun paying the price, and I won't detail what is yet to come. So far, troops backed by tanks have mounted raids to attack Palestinian rocket crews and sought information about the location of hostages, according to an Israeli military spokesperson. This follows airstrikes that Gaza authorities say killed nearly 2,000 people. On Friday, Israel gave more than a million residents of the northern half of Gaza 24 hours to flee to the south to avoid an onslaught. Hamas vowed to fight to the last drop of blood and told residents to stay. The situation in Gaza has reached a dangerous new low. Meanwhile, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned of a disaster if so many people were forced to flee and said the siege of the enclave should be lifted to let in aid. We need immediate humanitarian access throughout Gaza so that we can get fuel, food and water to everyone in need. Even wars have rules. Earlier, a UN spokesperson said it would be impossible for Gazans to obey Israel's relocation order without devastating humanitarian consequences. Israel responded that the UN should condemn Hamas and support Israel's right to self-defense. Tens of thousands are estimated to have fled south in Gaza after the notice to evacuate, the UN said Friday. Gaza authorities said 70 people were killed and 200 were wounded when Israel struck cars and trucks carrying people fleeing. Reuters could not independently verify the reported incident.